This seating wall begins by drawing the curve or radius on the ground with paint. Along that line, a one foot wide trench is dug and filled with paper base. In addition to providing seating, this wall will also be a retaining wall, so the foundation is extremely important. Once the base is in and compacted, the rumble stone blocks begin going in place. There are trapezoid blocks which are designed to create curves, but not one exactly this size and shape. So small pie-shaped pieces have to be cut off the square three and a half inch blocks to allow them to follow the exact curve for this particular wall. Once all the blocks for each row are cut and dry fit, they are secured to the previous row with construction adhesive. For strength, it's important that the seams of each row are overlapped by the blocks in the row above it. Once the wall reaches its full height, the one and three quarter inch large rectangular blocks are used to cap the wall, giving it a more finished look and a really nice comfortable place to sit. 